with a whole bunch of lovely ladies from the fantastic ladies everybody will be linked down below as they were in the first one uh, in the intro so this is the first update um, I've made some pretty good progress on a few things um, not so much on some other things but I will just quickly go through everything and um, yeah we'll see where we're at so for A we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow powder in a caramel. I've used this every time I've done my brows. I had some hard pan in the middle which I scraped off but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Looks exactly the same as it did. Uh, the, for B we have the Beige Rose lipstick from Maybelline. We have had a little bit of progress on that one. That's where we started and that's where we are now. For C, we have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. It's not going to look any different. It's still going. For D, was the Double Extend from L'Oreal. Again, it's still going. It's fine. For E, we have the Eraser Dark Circles from Maybelline. And that is the progress there. This is not my favourite concealer. Um, I don't really know that it does anything. For F we have the Fuego lip liner from Crown. So this is where we started and this is where we are now. So a bit of progress on that one. For G, we have the Gold Coal from L'Oreal. I haven't actually touched this one. H, we have the HD Powder from Artist Selection. And that on the back is the progress, sort of, that we've made. It feels like it's not going anywhere, but it clearly is. Um, yeah, it just doesn't feel like it is. I is the Anika primer. I have no idea how much is left in here. Uh, J is the Jane nail polish from Zoya. I've used this several times and it has literally not moved from the line that it was when I started. And considering I need like four coats to get decent coverage, you'd think it would have moved and it just hasn't. It's actually really frustrating. K is the Kryolon Concealer Wheel. I have actually used this a little bit, but it doesn't really look any different. I actually quite like how this works, I have to say. L is the lip prep from the runway room and that line is where I am at now. It might be a little bit. It's basically where I can fold it to. Um, I kind of forget to use it because I tend to use my lip balm instead, but I do sometimes remember to use it. Um, the More Brows from Modelco is M. It's still going, um, but I feel like I have to work harder to actually get any out, so, um, yeah, at least it's being used. The Natio Bronzer Enhancer, a little chunk fell out of the top up here. There's a bit more pan showing. I will insert a picture of where we started so that you can see that. The Obscure Eyeshadow from 
um, Glamour Doll Eyes. I haven't actually been reaching for this one. I've been using one in my crown palette instead and probably when I run out of transition shades from there I'll probably start using that one a bit more. The Periwinkle Single Eyeshadow from Revlon is P. I've used it once, um, so yeah, no real progress on that. Q is the Quicksand Nail Polish from Sally Hansen. It's moved a teeny tiny little bit. R is Red Flare from Orly. Oops. Uh, this has had the probably most progress of any of the nail polishes. Right. Right there. S is the Spear um, Eyeliner from Emmet, which is here. That's where we started and that's where we are now. So, progress on that. I tend to sharpen that every time I use it because I use it in my waterline. Um, T is the True Blend Foundation from CoverGirl. I've marked a line on the side there which is kind of where the gap is showing, but it's actually, I think, lower than that. Um, yeah. Uh, it's not my favourite. I just... I don't know, I don't think foundation and my face just like each other, so, and I'm wearing it today, but I put it on with my hands in a really thin layer, um, yeah, but it's definitely not my fave. And you, we have the Urban Coral Nail Polish, which is where that blue line is. V is the Vivid Violet Liquid Eyeliner from NYX. I haven't actually, I think I've only used it once. So it probably hasn't gone very far. W is the Well Dressed Blush from MAC, which has a sizable dip in it, but it's a bit hard to see. The dip is sort of over this side here. It's a bit hard to see. Um, I have to use quite a bit of this, like I'm wearing it today, but I have to like really use a lot of it in order to get any colour payoff, it's like super subtle, um, yeah, so I don't know how long it'll be until I hit pan and that. X is XOXO Nail Polish, this does not appear to have moved from where I started even though I've used it several times and I've used it on my toes and yeah, probably because I usually only use one coat of it over the top of something else. Why is Yodel Me on my cell from OPI? I have marked a line just here. It's kind of like right at the, right below this ridgy line here. But because the bottle's blue and I used a blue pen, it's almost impossible to see. <laughs> that was smart. Um, yeah, that's had a little bit of progress though. And Z is the Zurich uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. I've used it um, maybe twice, um, but I have no idea how much is in there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I certainly haven't finished anything. Didn't really expect to on my first update, but I have made some progress on stuff, which is good enough for me right at this point in time. Um, yeah, so that is my update for my A to Z Project Pan collab with the Pantastic Ladies. Everybody, of course, will be linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.